hey guys welcome back to my channel so today for you i have another palette i'm going to be a new palette i'm going to be doing the whole look for it and i'm going to unbox it guys i'm excited i have not i wonder if it's new because it is christmas so yeah so this is the palette it's no silent night 35 xs i wonder if that's supposed to be like xmas or something it makes sense because no silent night's christmas but yeah this is the palette and i took a trip to ulta today and i'm excited because the colors look so pretty and i was really like drawn to the blue the midnight blue when i think of like silent night and christmas i think of midnight for some reason because of like the dark and then the song Fun fact, I had to do a, um, in elementary school, I was like fourth, fifth grade, I was in fifth grade, no fourth, I was in fourth, and we had to do Silent Night, the song in sign language, and I still remember, no, I don't remember, I now I do my name in sign language, though, but yeah, I had to perform this song, y'all, on Christmas, so it was really, I remember it, so yeah, I was drawn to this probably because it's Christmas, um, weather, not Christmas weather, but it's Christmas time, so this is it, how pretty is this? I like it's so like it's just so pretty so let's see oh so real quick let me ever show you guys what's in here so this is the first time i um, open any other palettes that i see like a they tell you how to do like liners and stuff like that i think that's really cool how cute is that i think it's really cool it show you how to add like you know how to do different eyeshadows so yeah that's actually really cool this is an artistry palette so you know I, I wonder if there's like yeah there's no cream colors in here so i wonder why they put that in here but it's, it's still cool to teach people how to do eyeshadows if you don't know how to do them if you want to do something different different creases so yeah that's something to look out for i wonder if they just not putting these in here it's really cool and they also got a scan qr code for more tips and tricks on how to do it guys that's actually really cool i love that so let's look at the look at the palette oh i'm so gonna be using starry eyes i already know what i'm doing guys so this is the palette this is so pretty. Look at the colors, the shimmer up in here. Y'all know me. I'm all about shimmer. So I love the silver bells in the twilight to the left. These two, I think I'm going to, yeah. These two are so pretty. I'm going to be poss possibly be using these. I just, I'm really drawn to the blue. But the silver bells is also cute. I'm, I'm just a little nervous if I'm going to get the, the tinsel twirl, the really bright cloud blue color on here though i really want to use these four actually the four i might go with that guys the four right here and we're just gonna see what we can do i'm also doing my eyebrows today y'all it's like i don't think i ever did my eyebrows like you guys ever see me do my eyebrows so you don't want to see the full thing because it'd be a quick situation like just a quick snap but i will be doing my eyebrows today so let's just start because i know what i'm doing i'm gonna be using this and yeah let's just start this is so pretty it's actually smart how they did that because each line goes like each line matches so that's how i look at it oh this is a full show like it just all go together guys so i absolutely love this so let's just get right into this video which it already started but let's start this face y'all okay so i'm going to first start oiling my face i use a neutrogena oil free moisture which you can put on your skin at night or under your makeup it really doesn't matter it helps <laughs> I have dry skin so if you guys haven't noticed my hair is like the black is so growing out like I like how it look right now so I'm not going to bleach it no time soon y'all I just really miss it when it was like really really bright yellow like bright bright white blonde like that's what I want to get to again it's just crazy because roots grow out so fast and I'm really learning that okay so we are going to do eyebrows so I, I got my eyebrow palette I am going to be using the um, BH Cosmetics Studio Brow Palette. I had this for years, y'all, and I'm still using it. That's how good it is. Y'all, you would think, let me open my, this is my cleaning wipes, my makeup wipes. You would be thinking I'm doing surgery, y'all, with all these. I have brushes and makeup all in front of me. I'm legit doing surgery. So I got to find my brush. I should have had this stuff in order. I'll be a horrible surgeon. So <laughs> I'm going to take my angled brush right here and i'm gonna do my eyebrows which i'm just filling them in lightly just gonna actually i'm gonna brush them first brush your brows girl so yeah i already i arched them already so they look good and i really don't have to do them but i do need to because mrs some right here so it's just been a while since i did them and i really want to do my eyebrows so i'm gonna fill them in and i'm just when i do my eyebrows i fill them in lightly and don't really use it. The, I don't use the darkest color because the concealer is going to fix it anyway. 
So I will just fill in where I need to fill in the gaps, the gap parts, so they look more full. And that's it. So yeah, the good thing about, um, like I said, I don't really never do my eyebrows. I stopped doing them because they, I'm their natural now and I've been growing them out, but I really need to fill in the um, outside. And I use a dark color on the outside because that's just skin because I have not like, don't really have hair over there yet on this one. <laughs> so I use a darker, just the darkest color over here, guys. If you see, this one is fuller than this one, so. Okay. First, can we talk about um, how Rihanna baby is the cutest thing ever? I'm like not, I'm so, I was surprised. I didn't know her baby was already like grown, but that baby about almost one. I'm, I'm just playing, but I absolutely love her. I think if she did it the smart way that what celebrities do, you know, celebrities show everything nowadays. I love that she keep everything to herself. I didn't, her baby looks so cute. You didn't, I didn't know she had her baby. So I absolutely love it. See, this is the thing. I love this brow. I always do this brow perfect. And then this, this one over here, y'all. So now we're going to use the concealer. To okay, fix guys. It. So I got my eyebrows done and they look really, really good. This actually took a while longer than I thought because I kept messing up on stuff. I also got my um, eye concealer set for my eyes. So I'm going to go and start my eye, on my eye um, shadow. I use Pro LA Girl Concealer. I always use that, I always use that concealer because it's very thick and it like holds a lot of products. So perfect. So, and I set my um, eyebrow with my powder, which you can use any powder for your eyes. So I am cleaning my, getting this foundation off my hands, y'all, because I don't want nothing messing up this palette. And I'm going to go into the color, and I think I'm going to do the navy blue. Not the navy blue, but the, like, the blue. I think it is kind of navy blue. Look like a midnight blue. And I'm going to do the blues, because they just look so pretty, and it's like, too, they're too good to not do, so... That's the first thing that come out of the blue and the silver. So we're definitely going to be moving with that. Well, I'm just dealing with that, guys. So I'm going to take up, if I can find a tool, my eyebrow powder, my eyebrow brush. I told you I was like, I'm doing surgery over here. I can't even find anything I need. So I am going to take the Dusk, the Dusk Whisper, which is the dark blue. Well, not the dark, it's just right here, the third third one right here we're going to take this color on our um, bottom eye then I'm going to I think I'm going to do the starry eyes next on top and I'm going to mix that with some of the silver bell that's the goal so I have a bluish silverish eye guys so yeah let's start this I'm going to take my I'm dropping stuff already I'm going to take the dusk whisper which is like a purplish blue actually very pigmented I don't know if you guys can see it I hope it focuses. If it don't, I'm sorry. We're going to put this on. The, we don't want to pat this on the eye. It looked like a dark gray, if I'm being honest. It's very pretty. That's actually very pretty to pat that on here like that. I didn't think it was going to be like this. Love it. It looked like a charcoal, like a purple charcoal, if that makes sense too. <laughs> this is absolutely gorgeous. This one color is absolutely beautiful, y'all. Now, if you want to do a smoky eye, I recommend using something like this color. This is pretty. And we're going to just get this all over here. And then we're going to blend this out. And let's do this eye. Who is ready for Christmas, though, guys? When I, when Christmas time come, I have to do a whole makeup look for Christmas and all that stuff. It, it's crazy because it doesn't even feel like Christmas. I'm ready for this year to be over with. This year has been crazy, y'all. I'm ready for next year because I'll be back on campus. Which means more content. And then I got so much to do since I'm moving back in myself. It's just very, it's very, it's gonna be a lot of stuff going on next year. So I'm gonna gonna blend this out, guys, okay? I'm gonna blend this eye out. Do this lightly. Okay, guys, now that we have this blend it, it looks really good. I'm talking about brows really do make a difference. I never really do my eyebrows because I just like my natural brows. But, like, every, when I do, the times I do, which is really limited, like, probably once a year, y'all. I'm not even joking. It's been so long since I did my eyebrows. It really makes, like, the whole look look even cleaner. I absolutely love it. I'm going to have to get back to it. That's all it tells me. I'm going to have to be doing my makeup, my eyebrows even more, y'all, because this look on point, especially with my hair. Anyways, let's stop talking about me. 
and get back to my video. So <laughs> I'm gonna take the starry eyes and I'm gonna put this um kind of in the corner, like up here toward the front part. And if it goes right with the silver bells, I'm gonna put that on the back. So we're gonna see it. Dang, and I y'all, and I got the dark the wrong color on here. That's just wasting eyeshadow. Well, it really wouldn't matter because it's still blue, so let's see. I just actually I accidentally used the wrong one. So this is it. Oh, this is pretty. I hope to please let it focus. <laughs> let's see. Let's see if it should focus, y'all. Okay, if it did. This is so pretty. So we're going to put this on the... Look at that. That is so... First of all, can we talk about, talk about how pigmented this is? Guys, look at this. Oh, my God. And I'm going to use that same color from before to blend this out when I'm done. And it, it don't really get everywhere, but just be careful. If you're using eyeshadows like this, I definitely recommend doing your eyeshadow first. You know, it do. It's a lot of people, a lot of makeup artists who do their um, eyeshadow last. I don't know how. Because I'm like, you gotta... This stuff, like, goes everywhere and you can mess up. That's why I do eyeshadow first. It's just easier for me. I, just, I don't understand who people... Like, people I understand it because, you know, everybody has their technique. But, like, I just... I can't. <laughs> I can't. Okay. So I'm going to go in and blend this um, and let this match. Let's mix this together, guys. Blend the brush. We're going to do this lightly because I don't want this to mess up. And I'm still going over it. I'm just going to be blending it lightly to the middle, not all the way across my eye. And when you do it lightly, you just go a little above the, um, you don't press this on your full eye. You go above it, above the lid, and you just blend it lightly, guys. We're going to do this to both eyes. Okay, guys, now that it's blended, it looks amazing. I'm going to see, I want to first test out how good the silver bells colors look. Oh, it's really, really silver, first of all. Can we talk about that? Um, let me see. If this will work, I think it will. I need to use a looser brush, though. So, I'm going to risk it, y'all, when I'm using... I'm going to take the same brush I used with the first color, but I'm going to take that most... Try to get most of that product off. Because I only have really two loose... Like, including the, um, including the blender brush, like three loose um, eyeshadow brushes. So, we're going to take this color, the silver bells, on here... Ooh, that's really silver. How cute is that, guys? This is the perfect palette, I swear. We're going to add a little to this toward the end of the eyes. And I really hope it does what I think it's going to do. <laughs> and I'm going to do this to the same, and we're going to lightly blend. This is all just like a midnight silent night. I just absolutely love the palette. I was gonna do but I just did it really lightly so it kind of blended all together y'all so this is what it looks like so that's exactly you got a darker then it's like a little silver I feel like I put more on this one but I'm not even gonna mess this up we're just gonna end it with this this is actually I this is exactly what I thought I was gonna do I used the silver bells the dust whisper and the starry eyes guys so now I'm gonna go in with my liner and since I already have this palette open, I'm going to use black eyeliner on top. I've always done that. I just like that it gives it a more matte um, look because this is not, like, it would be dry liquid liner if I had liquid liner. But this is a marker. And I need to get me another one. So, yeah. We're just going to put eyeliner on after this. And I'll just, you can ignore this or you can just dust it away. It don't really matter, guys, because it's going to go away soon. So, let's just do the eyeliner. Okay, guys, now that I have that on, I'm going to go on and get into my face. So, I finally bought some more foundation, y'all. I used the Maybelline 355 Fit Me Foundation. I really need to try another foundation, I think. I said I want to try the Fenty one, but I was just a little nervous. Because people say it's very liquidy. But I love Rihanna, so I might have to try it. I should have got one when I was there. By the way, this palette that I got was only $37. Well, 37 it was only $27. It's a really good um, palette. Ulta is the place to go when you need palettes. They also have many sales, I think, especially during the holidays. So, yeah, go get you guys some Christmas palettes. That's what I was looking for. I was actually looking for a Christmas palette, and I just walked by and saw that one. I was like, what is this? And I think it is new. 
If it's not, then oh well. But I think I have not seen this, so I thought it was new. Which I still think it is new because it's the holiday and so they did it. I was also going to get, um, I saw some other artistry palettes from other makeup artists. I was like, oh my god, dream. So I was going to get one of those too, but I didn't want any with like really, really bright colors. So I like this one because it just reminds me of Christmas. I'm going to have to do a really gold eye one day too. Maybe tomorrow because the gold is really calling to me, y'all. So yeah, I'm going to go and add my concealer with this, guys. I absolutely love this, so yeah. We're gonna go in with our concealer. And we're just gonna blend this out, y'all. Okay guys, now I have my concealer on. Everything is good. I had to take a little bit of that off because it was so much, like I said, the BH Cosmetics concealer is very thick. And it's depending on the color, I got a really orangey one, like really tan. So it was really a lot. You only need like a little bead of that on your um mixed in with your other concealer. And it really gives it a good tint. So I'm gonna go and set this with my powders. And I am then gonna go on with my contouring, which I'm gonna do the outside of my face, like I always do. I don't do a full contour with like cream contour, which you could obviously, but I just don't. I know I'm doing the most right now with this powder, y'all, but <laughs> I just don't need to do all that so I'm gonna I don't need to do all that after doing all this so I'm gonna take my palette and I'm just gonna go for the dark color I always do okay I told y'all it's like so much stuff messed up in here mm. and I'm just going on the outside of my face I'm telling you, my brows are on point oh my god like I really gotta start back doing my makeup fully like I love this I don't know what made me want to do my eyebrows, like, my full face. Like, it's just so different than doing, um, like, you know, without your brows, it's so different. Just doing, like, the regular look, but I absolutely love it. I, I will only bring out the brows if it was, like, a special occasion. If I was going with, like, a date or something, or if I was going, like, you know, after, like, a restaurant, that's when I'll do my brows. But other than that, it's, like, not necessary, guys. So, now, I am going to go in with... Hmm. I think I wasn't going to do the under eye because I feel like some stuff might waste. You know, you just never know. And I really should have did it before I did my um, my um, eyeshadow. Not eyeshadow, concealer, y'all. So I'm going to take whatever's left on this palette, which I think is the shimmer color. And I'm going to carefully just do this under my eye, y'all. Because I might have to clean some stuff up. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my blush, guys. I have my blush and highlighter combo. I'm using the blush and Bali palette, as I always do. And I am going to, because, you know, this is legit, like, the only palette I have now that, like, only blush palette that didn't break, because I drop everything. So I'm going to take the gold, I'm going to take the pink, um, a really light pink, a coral color for my blush lightly, because I don't want that much pink on here. I really should have used the lighter one, but we'll just do lightly. Okay, so now we are going to go in with the, we're going to get our mascara, guys. Yeah, I didn't want to do a, um, yeah, we're going to go in with, I'm looking like what to a mix. So we're going to go in with our mascara, and then you will do the eyeliner, so you guys will see the full product after this. And this is the finished look. Guys, this is, I'm so excited because this is so pretty. I'm talking about brows really do make a difference. Brows and eyelashes, y'all, they make the whole difference. You might as well say brows, foundation, concealer, and the whole face make a difference, okay? You really, you don't have to do a full face, obviously, but this, I just wanted to do a full face because I wanted to test this palette out, and it did exactly what it's supposed to do. I have my lip gloss. This is the eyeshadow so you guys can see. I got these lashes. I got these from my local hair store because I need, I love their lashes because they look natural, so, and they're a good length for my eyes. So, I absolutely love this, y'all, and I'm about to take a a lot of pictures on Instagram so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and once again I use the Morphe um 35 XS no silent night palette cannot go wrong with this 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at I am Tatiana Green. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.